Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my let's play of Tokiden on the Sony PlayStation Vita. So on this episode, I'm taking on the subspecies of the turkey monster whose name I can't remember. I have no idea what element this is, so I'm going to wing it. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'm using the correct element, but for safety, I've gone for the heaven element. And I'm using my dual blades. Oh, and once again, this is a live streamed episode on Twitch, so check out the video description for a link to my Twitch. Looks like we have to go hunting for it. I've got a feeling it's going to be towards the centre of the map. I'm going to pick up some of these shinies as I go. Yeah, it can fly. Its original element is fire. So, you, in most circumstances, it's been the opposite element. So one would assume it's ice, but there has been a time where a subspecies hasn't been the opposite element, and it's been something different entirely. So that logic doesn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna check over here first, in the far left corner. Right, it's not there, so let's go back. I want to get to the meat! Out of curiosity, guys, what are you got what are you watching this on? Are you watching it on a desktop PC? This stream. Oh! Oh god, I think it's heaven, you know. Look at its colours. Wow, it actually looks really cool, this subspecies. Oh no, is it winds? It's shooting out lightning. Oh, fucking hell, look at the damage on that. Jesus Christ. I'll find out what element it is after the battle where I get the armor and stuff. I'm wondering if it's wind. Should have gone with earth against it. Oh no! Oh no! Lightning! I like it. I like the sun. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I I can't tell. Someone's just asked me, can you tell what element it is from its attacks? Usually you can. However, the um, subspecies of Kazikiri, which is Amirkiri or however it's pronounced, um, shoots attacks that look electrical so I thought oh because normally like electric type attacks signify wind on this game or I don't know this this thing could actually be heaven my guess is heaven or wind I don't know it's one of those two. Oh no oh frig shit I need to get over here to this healing Oh, it's dispelled. Ah! 
Oh, so you're watching it on your Vita, that's cool. Is it stable, by the way? Is it running stable on your Vita when you watch? Shit. Wow, this, this guy. Oh my god, electrical beam. He's, uh, he's dangerous, man. He's, he's doing a lot of damage to me. It wouldn't surprise me if I faint on this episode, guys. See, the only thing I don't like... Uh, well, not with the dual blades, but like... Dodging can be quite slow on this game. Oh my god, that was close. Um, obviously, the only weapon you can guard with on this game is the gauntlets, by the way. So, although they're slow, they have that going for them, that they're the only weapon you can guard with. I find it interesting how I've not broken a piece off this guy yet. That makes me think that I'm not actually using the correct element. That maybe he is a heaven. Oh wow, that's epic. Jesus, this guy, man. He's definitely one of the more dangerous subspecies I've come across so far. Oh, whoa Nelly. Now's the time to attack. Hyper beam! Oh shit, that was close. See you later, thanks for watching the stream. I seem to be doing jack shit to this guy. Right, one of his wings pieces is off at least. Oh yay, pieces are finally coming off this guy now. Definitely one of the more tough sub subspecies that I've uh, come across for sure. think so. Get in between these two and purify both at the same time. I finally feel like I'm doing some damage. You 
still do damage attacking the blue sections that are missing, by the way. Oh no! How did I know that was going to happen? I did that like a hero! I was like, yep, I'm just gonna take this beam and I don't care because I am hard. health though? I've still done bugger all to it, really. Even though I've got a lot off it, look at its health. That red bar is its health by the way. The purple bar is um, until its um, essence is exposed when you can do the most damage to it. No, they don't run away. Not like Monster Hunter, where they run away after a while and you have to chase them down. You missed me, didn't you? Yeah, there's the odd um, quest like this one where obviously you don't start off an enclosed area near the monster and um, you've got to go through the map and find it but that's about it once once you come across the boss you don't have to um, chase it down it doesn't run away or anything which is quite refreshing really Oh, nice one, my ninjas laid a trap again. Oh, ho, just like walk past me. See, if you don't purify a piece that's come off the monster, it just restores after a while. that your skills on this game are making me want this game bad right now oh why thank you it is a great game oh nice he didn't do an electric um, attack when he did his spin then i wonder if it's because i've destroyed a lot of his wings
His health is just below halfway, guys. Oh, nice. Nice one. Knocked it out of the sky. So the AI are really good in this. That's something I will say. It's in its um, rampage mode. Changed forms. I still got to get the. Uh... Just out of range. Okay, so his horn is actually on red. I might be able to get it off just before he dies. He's got um, quite low health, but... Yeah, I should be able to get it off, I reckon. Oh, I think I missed. I think he just stepped back. And my special missed. This is his health. See the bottom bar, the red? The red bar is his health. The purple bar is like his defense. Um, and then when he changes color, that's when his defense is lowest. So his essence is exposed and that's when you can do the most damage. So the red bar is his health and the purple bar is like until you've reached his outer defenses again. But that restores after a while, that purple bar. Oh, nice! He's gonna die. I'm not gonna be able to get that horn off. He's got such a sliver of health. There we go. I think that was Nagi then, took him out with an arrow. That's all the shinies. 
Oh, that was fun. I feel like I got better at fighting that thing towards the end. Obviously getting used to its attack. So 18 minutes 25. That was definitely the hardest subspecies I've come across on this game so far. Very interesting though. Right, let's see if I can find out what element it was by looking at any weapons that I've unlocked. I've got a feeling it, it was heaven, but I don't know. Right, so it's not actually unlocked any weapons, so that's interesting. So, has it unlocked any armor, maybe? No, it, it hasn't. Or has it? Hang on. Oh no, it has. It's unlocked some armor by the looks of it. Let me just double check. Um, helmet again. So, 110 heaven and 110 wind. But it's ice is right up as well, so it can't be. It can't. That that definitely wasn't ice. Or maybe it hasn't unlocked any armor then. I don't know. I don't know what element that thing was. At all. I I'm definitely leaning more towards heaven. Okay guys, I'll stop this episode here. You've been watching Gadget Girl Kylie and this has been my Let's Play of Tokiden on the Sony PlayStation Vita. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you next time guys.